What's going on YouTube? I'm back with another video and today we're gonna talk about how to manifest. Yes, everybody wants to manifest their desires and their goals, aspirations. They want these things to come true, to come to fruition. But what are the necessary steps and where should you put your focus in order to manifest what you want out of life? First off, you gotta put God first. God is the epicenter of every desire of every prayer answered you have to have your heart in the right place which is to seek God first to seek the most high the spirit that is beyond your reality if you can't see beyond your reality how can you change it You can't see beyond your circumstances and your struggles. How can you change them? And since the Most High is the all powerful, incomprehensible deity of the universe, that is where all of your manifestations will come from. See, we plant the seed in thought. What is prayer? Prayer is thought, word, and heart. All simultaneously. That's why prayer works. But if your heart is not in the prayer, how can it come to fruition? So you have to first start with not seeking what you want, but seeking God first. That's why it says in the Bible to seek the kingdom of heaven first. Because that's ultimately where all your blessings are going to come from. Is from higher realms of existence or what we would call heaven then they come and they have to pass through every plane of existence down to the physical because the physical plane the earth is only the most coarse and slowest vibration that's why we can see it because it's almost standing still we can't see the spirit with fleshly eyes so the things that we want, we can't, if we can't, or if we have not took a vision or had a vision of it in our minds first, how are we going to see it right here inside of our hands? So you send that prayer up and you keep sending that prayer and you keep sending that prayer. And what that's going to do is develop faith. And you put that action behind the faith. You're like, I know this is going to happen. I'm going to step out every day and give out positive energy. Everything is connected. So, I'm going to go out every day. I'm going to have faith. I'm going to have confidence in this God that's going to send me my blessing, my manifestation. I'm going to keep praying. I'm going to keep reading the word, trying to find wisdom. I'm reading up on the kings um, who were given, like King Solomon. King Solomon, he could have inherited riches, wealth, fame, glory. But instead, he chose to inherit wisdom from God. And God said to him, paraphrase I'm going, since you asked for wisdom, I'm going to give you wisdom and all of these things added to you. So, that is the humility of a person who seeks wisdom. If you want to really be rich, if you want to be wealthy, if you want to manifest, you need the wisdom behind it. The wisdom is what grants the riches. You got to know first, just like you know that it's going to come to you because you know how good God is. If you're here, you know that there's been something in your life you had no explanation for that was given to you. 
you have faith. There was something that happened in your life and you were like, no, nah, there's no way that this could have happened. And you don't know the type of seeds that you might that you may have planted with your faith. They said it only takes a mustard seed of faith to move a mountain. So if people out here, they ain't got no faith. They just, oh, I'm getting up every day. I go to my nine to five. I come back home, smoke, drink, play video games, go to sleep, wake back up, do it again. Where is their heart and where is their faith developing from? They haven't even developed a mustard seed yet. But if you see the people who are rich, who are wealthy, who have relationships with God, who have charisma, who have tenacious spirits, they're always going to relay it back to God. I don't see too many people that haven't relayed it back to God unless they were strictly disciplined, which discipline comes from God, too. Because if you're going to discipline yourself, you're going to discipline your physical vessel, which means you're going to be acting in the spirit once again. So God is the grantor of all manifestation of all desires. If people would just have their faith in him or in the most high. And not in these physical things of the world. They would get anything they desire. But instead. People choose not to. Me. Personally. I was in. I was in a very dark place. Um, I was battling for like two years. Battling with myself internally. And. When I turned. To God. The most. I ever have in my whole life. I saw everything take a turn. Everything started to improve in my life. My mindset, my discipline, my health, my confidence. I done battled with everything. But what God does is when you develop that discipline, and every day you're making it a habit, a routine to get close to God that is the habit that you can no longer break so like people develop negative habits this habit that you will develop that is going to have because it's, it's going to have a long lasting effect on you as you start to achieve success and manifest so this habit is just like the opposite of a negative habit you, will, you won't even want to break it you're going to keep going and keep prospering. And you're going to look up, you're going to smile. You're going to have temptations. You're going to have things thrown here and there. And those are your tests to see if you really are going to stand on that foundation that you've built. Are you going to, because the more tests that you pass, the higher levels that you obtain. Are you going to go forward and obtain these higher levels or are you going to get your mediocre due that you have reaped and sowed? You might have done positive things, giving to the homeless out of the goodness and the kindness of your heart. First, it starts off the sacrifice. You sacrificing something, uh, you give it away. That's going to return to you. We're all one. We're all one collective consciousness. So everything good that you do to the universe comes back to you. So you have to make sacrifices. When you start to make sacrifices, things become come back to you. So you'll get tested. And after you pass those tests, you will achieve higher levels. God is good, man. Hey, I'm going to wrap this message up to y'all. I thank y'all for listening. And I hope this video helped you. Stay blessed, man. King Tariq Bay.